I cannot even believe that this is real. Oh, tag. I'm taking off the tag, so even if I hate them, I own them now. It is like scarily dead. Like it feels like the apocalypse a little bit. I may have done a thing. I was in the mood to spend some money. And you know, sometimes you just get in that mood, you know? Where you're just like, I wanna buy something. I would like to spend my money on something that I'll use, something that I love, something that I need. You know, anything, anything like that. I chose to put it into camera equipment. I originally went in for an extra camera battery. As you know, I've had issues with my battery dying and not having a replacement in the past. However, I walked out having spent over $700. So you may be wondering, Quinn, how did you spend all that money? Um, I bought a new camera lens, and a camera battery, and a bag for my camera. I got excited, okay? I just, it happens, right? It happens to the best of us. But, do you want to see what I got? I'll do a little haul. I will oblige. So the first thing I got was, obviously, my camera battery. This is the battery that I need. It's just an extra one so that I can have one on charge and one in my camera so that when this one dies, I can just swap them out. Camera battery, done. The next thing I got was this. It's a camera bag. It is very big. It's actually quite large. So it should be able to fit on the inside a camera, a tripod, a l extra lens, anything that I need like that in here. Now this is the big one. This is the important one. I got a new camera lens. This is the camera lens. I'm very excited about it. It is an 11 to 22 millimeter lens, which is a lot wider than this one, which is I think a 15 to 45. When I bought my camera, it came with a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. And that's fine. It's not a bad lens. I've used it for months. It's nice. It's good. However, it is a little close up. Like there's not a lot happening on either end here and I feel like I could benefit from having a wider angle lens. And now I'm gonna try it on. So in this next clip, you will see me using a 11 to 22 millimeter lens. Oh, oh my, I cannot even believe that this is real. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like looking straight in the viewfinder. Look at how much wider it is. This depth, this depth of field is so good. I noticed it right away because turn the camera on, I flip out the viewfinder and I'm holding it out like this and I, you can just see so much around me where before when I held it out like this, it was such a narrow depth of field. Like it felt like my face was the whole frame and now it feels like my face is not the whole frame. This is so good. Immediately, the thing I notice is that the lens is just bigger. Like it's just, it's just, it's just bigger. It looks good though. I actually love it so much. I love this depth of field. Like I feel like I'm not taking up so much of the frame anymore. Cause I feel like beforehand I was taking up so much of the frame. I am actually so excited. And I have my new camera battery charging in the battery pack back there. And I have my bag, which is now set up over there with my other lens in it. Ah, it's so good. It's so good, I love it so much. Hello everybody, it is a couple days later and I'm filming like an actual intro now. Um, welcome to another weekend in my life video. Two in a row? Yes ma'am. Only because this weekend is a little more exciting this time. Today is Friday. It's actually Good Friday, which means I'm not in school. And it also means that the Easter Bunny came. Yeah, that's right, I'm 17 and the Easter Bunny still likes to drop by sometimes. My mother is very cute and still likes to put together a little Easter Bunny gifts. Uh, was I with her when she bought all the stuff? Yeah. So, what I got from the Easter Bunny this year. Little, little Easter Bunny haul. The first thing I got was this giant bag of M&Ms. Um, I love M&Ms, so I'm excited. This will last me a long time. The second thing I got was, uh, four bags of these, like, chocolate-covered eggs. Um, I don't know about you, but I freaking love these things. I am a sucker for cheap chocolate. Like, advent calendar chocolate, I love advent calendar chocolate. It's not good, it's not quality, but I love it. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat all these, like they're gonna go out into the common space so that everyone can pick at them, but. The last thing I got was uh, a gift card to H&M. My mom got me a $25, sorry, the Easter Bunny got me a $25 gift card to H&M, which I love, I love H&M, so good. Hello, you might be wondering where I am right now. Currently, I am located within my mother's shop. This is where my Bob Ross tutorial was filmed, was right here. 
Um, she has tasked me with cleaning the shop this morning as she is unable to. So I am going to do that. It is a little dark in here. I'm thinking maybe I should turn on a light of some sort. Wow. And there we go. I've got my coffee made, so I'm just going to start the cleaning process and just enjoy my morning. Normally, I change the garbages but this one's completely empty, so I think I'm just gonna leave it. I have to go put the bags back in. And now I am finished. I have done all the required cleanings of me this morning. All right, I am dressed. I've done my makeup. I brushed my hair. I brushed my teeth. And I am ready to head to work. It's really nice out today, actually. Look how sunny it is. You see my bus, which is good because I only stepped out here like three seconds ago, so I might have perfectly timed it. We'll see. a lot later in the night as you can see I'm also filming on my phone right now because I have my camera set up for a later shot um, it is almost midnight uh, my day went as follows I went to work I came home I made dinner and then I played some games with some friends and then next thing I knew it was almost midnight and I have to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow so fun <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed uh, so that I can get as much sleep as I possibly can. Tomorrow I work, I go back to work, but I'm doing an inventory count, so it's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And because it is holiday hours for the buses, I have to take a really weird way to get there. So yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, but then it'll be Easter Sunday. So good night everyone, and I will see you tomorrow morning. I actually want to die so bad. This is awful. <laughs> this is awful. Good morning. Happy 6 a.m. on a Sunday. I have to go to work at 7. I have to leave at 7, which is why I'm up so early. 
Um, luckily, it is an inventory count day, so I don't have to dress for work. So I'm probably just going to change into another pair of track pants and a super oversized hoodie and put my hair up and just not give a fuck. <laughs> people think I'm like cool and like walk for fun like I wonder if people who are driving by are like oh she like goes on morning walks like that's awesome um but maybe I am also dressed like this <laughs> track pants a hoodie big jacket little little tote bag 7 a.m walk just having a good time just going for a little cruise empty like I am walking in the middle of a parking lot normally this mall is packed full of people it is like our busiest mall in the area it is packed with people but because the mall is actually closed today there is like nobody here It is a little bit later in the evening. I have eaten dinner and I am now just at my computer. I think I'm just gonna relax for the night, have a chill, little easy night. I have irritated the shit out of this area of my face by scratching it because, you know, I can't help myself. Um, overall, today was a good day. I'm pretty exhausted being up since 6 a.m. I tried to have a nap, but then my mom came home from where she was this weekend and she just wanted to hang out with me, so I did not get to nap, um, but it's okay. It's okay. This is my outfit. This is a one piece, my little jumper. If you saw my vlog, my study vlog, I did a haul in which this is one of the items I picked out. This is it on, it has pockets, it's very cute. And I just paired it with one of my favorite corduroys that I got from Valley Village, which is like, Valley Village is like the Canadian Goodwill, even though we have Goodwill, but it's like the Canadian Goodwill. Like it's like a, a thrift store. Um, but they're normally like much bigger than Goodwills. They're like like super big stores where you can they sell furniture and all that stuff But it's like a very big thrift store basically, but it's it's a, it's a Canadian thing Valley Village And that's where I got this. I got it for five dollars It's cute and it's corduroy and it's a different shade of brown because I love the colors brown green and beige and, Like cream and things like that. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty neutral pretty neutral tone That's kind of where I sit in fashion, but yeah, this is the outfit my hair is still wet. Um, I had a shower and I'm just not even gonna bother. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it to air dry while it's wet. I'm not, I didn't even brush it, like I'm just gonna leave it. I didn't do any makeup, I'm just, I'm going to hang out with family. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. We're gonna have an Easter dinner. But yeah, this is the fit. What are we thinking? And I'm probably just gonna pair it with my, oh, <gasps> I have new shoes. Wait, hold on. I got these shoes from H&M, I think. Yeah, I got these shoes from H&M and I have not worn them yet um, because I got them while it was still really muddy. Like it's still kind of muddy, you know, it's like early April, but it was really muddy when I bought them and they're like mostly white, so I didn't want to wear them yet. I think I'm gonna wear them now. I think it's time to try these on. I bought them because I thought they would be really cute, like neutral tone, wear them with, I don't know, wear them with uh, like, what are they called? Cargos. Wear them with cargos. That's what that was my thought process was that I could wear these with cargos and things like that. And my mom hates them. I bought them and she was like, those are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. And I was super upset about it. I wasn't that upset, but I was a little upset, but not a lot. I was like, oh mom. Oh, tag. Taking off the tag, so even if I hate them, I own them now. I'll probably resell them or something. They're okay, looking in the mirror right now, they're kinda cute. I don't think I love them as much as I thought I would when I bought them. The heel is a little too chunky for me. Like, hold on. Like, this part of the heel, like, it's so extra. It does not need to be there like that. 
It's the most aggressive heel I've ever seen. To be honest, I don't love them. <laughs> my mom was, maybe my mom was right. Maybe my mom was right in that I wasn't gonna like these. Well, she didn't say that I wasn't gonna like them. She said that she didn't like them. I think I could wear them with something. I don't know if this is the outfit for them. That might be it. I might just be wearing the wrong outfit for them. So yeah, because I think they give me more streetwear vibes. This is not very... This outfit is not super streetwear. So maybe I wear them anyway though. I don't know. Do I wear them anyway? Or do I just opt for my Adidas, which I know that I'll love. I love my Adidas superstars. I love them. Fun fact, actually, about my Adidas Superstars, um, I've been wearing that exact style of shoe since I was 11. So what I would do is they would get ripped or broken or I would grow out of them and I would go to the store and I would buy the exact same shoe in the exact same color in my size. I've been doing that for six years. Call me dedicated because, I mean, I am loyal to that shoe brand. I don't know what to tell you. I am loyal to the shoe brand. I don't really know why I like them so much. I Actually, I do know why I like them so much. They're comfortable, they're casual, they go with almost anything. They're just they're just good shoes. They're easy to clean when you get them dirty. They they last a long time. Like I've had the pair that I have now, I think I've had them for like three or four years. They don't have any tears on them. Like they're perfect. I love my Adidas Superstars. And I don't love these shoes nearly as much as I thought I would. No, I don't I don't know. I just don't think this is the outfit for them. I could make it work if I just show up like this, but. I just don't think this is the outfit for them. I'll wear them again. I'm gonna wear my, my Adidas, but I'll wear these ones again.